What is up guys? Welcome to Developer Habits, a YouTube channel for software engineers about growth mindset, developer lifestyle and technical tutorials. Today I'm going to be sharing my experience of participating in Hack the Crisis, an online hackathon organized in a single day with more than 1000 participants, all with the same single goal in mind, to find solutions to the crisis we are facing. With that said, let's get started. As we know, the situation in the world isn't the best at the moment because we are facing a virus called COVID-19 or coronavirus. There have been, at the time of recording, almost 300,000 cases all around the world and more than 10,000 lives have been lost. That said, over 90,000 have recovered. As there is no vaccine or cure for this virus, there are thousands of lives lost, healthcare systems are pushed to the limits, companies are closing their doors, jobs are lost, and people are all around the world are recommended to stay home and keep the human interaction at minimum. Both public and private sectors all around the world are trying to find solutions to the problems caused by this virus. And well, one of a kind public-private joint initiative was created in Estonia. So shortly put, there was an online hackathon that was organized in just a single day and brought together more than 1,000 motivated, smart people who during 48 hours wanted to build real, practical, useful solutions to the problems we are facing. If you don't know what a hackathon is, then simply put, it's an event where software engineers, designers, product people, or actually people from any profession come together to build practical solutions to different problems in a really short period of time, usually 24 hours or 48 hours. The ones I participated in usually start with ideas pitching, which is followed by team formation. And after that, you start building, you start hacking. And the craziest part is that during this really short period of time, you get to talk to real customers, you get to validate your idea, and you get to build the actual product. Additionally, at least in my case, you get to meet super motivated, super smart people who want to build and really solve actual problems. The hackathon I'm going to talk about in this video is called Hack the Crisis. It was organized by Accelerate Estonia and Courage48, a startup series in Estonia. One of the craziest things about this hackathon is that it was launched on Friday 13th at 4.30 p.m. And 90 minutes later, there were already over 600 participants with more than 80 ideas ready to tackle the crisis. So, how I heard about the idea? I was scrolling in my Facebook, I saw the event and I signed myself up because I knew that during this hackathon something really amazing must happen. I also knew that with my design and development background I can be quite useful for other teams. As with every hackathon, you either have your own idea or you join someone else's team who already has an idea. During the hack the crisis there was a separate Slack channel where people could pitch their ideas, ask questions and whatnot. After about an hour of scrolling through different ideas, asking questions and trying to find this perfect problem to solve, I saw there's this team that is missing a developer. What was special about them was that they saw the problem from a different angle. They recognized that the virus doesn't just affect the people, it also affects companies, especially the small ones. The hypothesis was that not all of the entrepreneurs know how to handle their companies during the crisis. And well, if we lose our companies, we also lose our jobs. After taking some time to think about it, I was sold and I joined the team. Before you can build something, you have to ask questions like, what is the actual problem you're trying to solve? How are you going to solve it? During a hackathon, what is the MVP you can build during 48 hours? And how do you divide the tasks? Our team lead made a Zoom video call so we could share ideas. And to be honest, it felt quite awkward in the beginning because I didn't know anyone. 
but after seeing that everyone's so chill and they are really motivated, the awkwardness disappeared. The first night we just discussed what we want to build. There were different ideas, for example, building a community for entrepreneurs where they could, well, provide help for each other. Also, there was an idea of building a mentoring service where small entrepreneurs can ask for advice on how to tackle the crisis, but also how to reposition themselves. In the end, one of our teammates came up with a beautiful metaphor, a medical prescription tool for small businesses. We will gather some data about the company's situation and based on the answers, we will give them a medical prescription. This prescription would include action items that the company can take in order to survive the crisis. The second day was about execution. We did have some minor conversations and we changed some of our plans, but that was the day when everybody had to deliver. I took on the responsibility of designing things and developing things, plus choosing the whole tech stack. We also had two more developers who were helping out with building different kind of logics. Other people in our team we're working on things like researching the content, analyzing what kind of information do we need from companies, but also finding partners. I was especially impressed by one specific team member who was able to gather us feedback from more than 120 companies, through which we were able to validate that there is a problem and that we are solving something real. Other than that, the day went quite fast. It was full of designing, developing and communicating, especially communicating. As it was an online hackathon, I learned that you must be really proactive. For that, we had like active Slack conversations going on. When someone needed help, we just created a Zoom call because speed and communication was the key here. The third day was crazy. I woke up at 9 a.m. and started working right away. There were many technical and non-technical problems to be solved, but as the content started to take shape and the questions were ready, the logic was ready, we just had to implement the stuff. Each member of the team was working really hard and despite the obstacles we had, we got the MVP ready. But there was another problem to be solved. We had to create a two minute demo of our product explaining the problem and basically convincing the jury that we are solving an actual thing. I guess I'm not exaggerating saying that the whole process of making the video took like 10 minutes. The team lead sent me some pre-recorded videos which I tried to put together in the video editor. Then we had a Zoom call where she took a look at the video. Then she recorded even more voiceovers and videos and finally we just put the things together. I didn't have time to check the final outcome and it was actually during the final pitching when we saw the final outcome. Finally, it was the time we were waiting for, the final event. The opening speech was given by our president and she was followed by our IT minister. And then we saw the ideas that other teams had came up with. Unfortunately, we didn't win. But that wasn't the goal here. The goal was to find solutions to the problems we are facing at the moment. And I guess we did that. During the hackathon, so many new innovative ideas with potential to save lives became reality. The next day was just crazy. News in Estonia, but also outside of Estonia, were talking about hack to crisis. There was even an article in Forbes. Even more importantly, Similar initiatives like Hack the Crisis started to pop up all around the world. Thousands of people letting the community know that they want to help. Oh, and about our own projects. We got external funding and we went to mainstream media. And now we are collecting information for the government so that they would know what's the situation with smaller companies and how to help them. All the people who participated in this event are heroes in my eyes. Many of the projects that were built during this weekend went actually to use by the government. There are so many different things I learned from that event, but the main things are, firstly, Estonian startup community is really close. We got more than 1,000 participants during one weekend. Secondly, when working online, communication is the key. 
you have to be proactive and ask questions if you don't understand anything. And also, it's necessary to have active conversations with your team members. And lastly, as a developer, you can have an impact. Try to find hackathons near you and try to find projects that solve real problems. I genuinely hope you like this video. And if you are a developer who is interested in growth mindset, developer lifestyle, or technical tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button below. I thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.